Sorry, no instructional video was made uh, on this door. Um, as you can see, the door has been redone. Um, it was in pretty bad shape. It's a going on 70 year old door um, and it had not been coated with anything to seal it for a long, long time. Um, it was just about bare wood. Almost everything had peeled off. It's a good old antique door, um, really thick. It's a two inch thick door. Um, it's a combination, um, my guess is the guy who built this house probably made it himself since it's a combination of redwood and looks to be yellow pine. Um, it had some extensive damage going on on this panel here where somebody had tried to kick it in. The panel was heavily cracked. I uh, went ahead and fed some glue in into the crack where it was hard to get at with a syringe. Works quite well, used tight bond wood glue. Um, holds very well and then I used a jig that I made with uh, uh, drywall screws which leave very small holes um, to pull it and hold it in place while it cured. Um, any of the small cracks that needed to be sealed on it I just used regular latex caulk on and uh, you know just white whatever color since it's getting painted anyway and then the heavy filling that needed to be done where the door had been kicked and a couple other places um, since it is paint grade, um, what that means is you're not going to stain it or clear coat it. Um, it's going to get paint. And since it is paint grade, um, a trick that a lot of cabinet, cabinet makers use to uh, to fill in spots from you know nail heads or cracks in the wood, any type of imperfection that needs to be filled, is just regular old body filler. You can buy this at any automotive store. They sell it at Home Depot and whatnot too. Um, you're better off buying it at an automotive store because it does have a shelf life and typically people are not looking to buy body filler when they go to a home improvement store. So you buy this, um, it doesn't come with any spreaders but it comes with the, uh, the tube of hardener that you need uh, which you actually have to mix in in order for it to uh, become hard. It's this red stuff here. You're also going to want to buy a package of spreaders. They'll be near the filler. Um, this is a spreader here. Uh, I cut the ends of it off uh, to fit in a small area where I needed it to fit. And I also used, uh, the type of paint I used on this is a metal flake. It's called Aged Copper. Uh, it's a Rust-Oleum brand paint, oil-based, therefore it's waterproof and long-lasting. And uh, comes in a can that looks like this. Um, I actually didn't use a roller or a brush to apply it because I wanted the smoothest possible finish. So you can use just a, a regular cheap automotive type spray gun like this. You can buy them at Harbor Freight when they're on sale for $12, $13. Works reasonably well. And since I'm in Arkansas where the air is very humid, your compressor will tend to pick up a lot of humidity from the air. And if that humidity isn't caught, it will end up coming down the hose and you will get spatters of water on your paint job which will ruin it. So. Your automotive body supply stores will have these. They're disposable. They're a silica cartridge. Um, screws right on the end of the gun. And I've had remarkable luck with them. They catch just about everything that comes down the line. And I mix the Rust-Oleum since it's extremely thick and you can't spray it through a gun with uh, just regular old acetone. I mixed about 35-40% acetone in with the paint to thin it out. And Acetone also flashes off really quick. Um, Rust-Oleum is notorious for taking a lot of time to dry uh, because it is oil-based, but when you mix it with acetone, it will set up a lot quicker and prevent uh, dust and bugs and things like that from becoming lodged in your paint. That's never fun, but there will be more to come when, uh, when I get around to hanging this thing and possibly some more uh, when I fill and paint the back side of the door.